Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, I got a few requests from the viewers to create the Ruby on Rails course with React tutorial. Okay, so I just planned a mini course for learning React in Rails 7. In this mini course, you will get to know how to add React JS in your Rails 7 project and then work with core of the React that is components and component lifecycle. Okay, in this course, we will learn how to create functional components, class components, how to manage states in both types of components. We will use various React hooks like use effect, use state, and we will see how render method works in the class components. We will see how to work with uh, props, and then we will implement REST API endpoints into the Rails application, and then we will consume those REST API endpoints into our React components. Okay, and then we will implement components in a way that uh, uh, a component will render the fetched data on the browser. Okay, in this mini course, you will get an idea like how and from where to start with Rails and React, and then you can extend your learning by practicing more and more. Now, one can think of that Rails 7 already has the hot wire to handle the JavaScript, so why we need the React JS with Rails 7? Okay, the answer is that hot wire is available in Rails 7, but this course will give you enough basic details about the React JS with Rails so you can apply whatever you learn from here to other Rails version applications like uh, Rails 6, Rails 5.x, like 5.1 and 5.2 with just minor modifications. Okay. And you just need to modify the steps to set up React. That's it. Okay. And there is also a possibility that if you know the React very well, but you want to learn Rails, then this course will definitely help you. Okay. And last but not the least, if you are looking to get some work from freelancing platforms, then my friend, just visit the Upwork. Okay. You will get lots of clients that are looking for the developers who can work with both Rails and React. In some jobs, React is optional. Okay. It, or you can say it's good to have, but in most of the jobs, client look for the developers who can work with both Rails and React. Okay. And after completing this mini course, you will become a full stack Rails developer who can work with React.js framework as well. You will be, you will get enough idea to implement React components and face the REST API data and do more advanced development with Rails and React. Okay. And at the last, I just wanted to let you know all in advance that I'm very good with Rails, but not uh, that much experience with React.js. Okay. So forgive me if I, if you found me that I'm delivering rope at any point and then just point out that concept or that mistake through the comment box. So I can work on those points and fix for myself and to deliver more better content. Okay. So thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture with project implementation and set up the react js into a rails application till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe